Instead of a battleship, I guess you could call it a, uh, bumble ship. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Cyberverse Elite Class Bumblebee and Ocean Storm. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right in front here, we have the Bumble Meister combined with Ocean Storm Transformer Cyberverse Power of the Spark. Transformers. On this side of the box, we have Bumblebee. On the other side of the box, we have Autobots Elite Class Class Elite. Class Class Elite, Class Elite. Uh, and up top, Transformers Cyberverse. On the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, this, that, the other things and stuff. He is a courageous scout. Warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging. Man, moving right along here, we have Bumblebee and Ocean Storm, the next of our Elite Class figures here in this Spark Armor series. But first, before we take a look, at Ocean Storm, we'll take a look at the Bumble Meister himself, and as you can see, his little yellow car. Are you shocked? I know I am. As getting close here, so we can take a look at the details. We do have some nice molded detail up front. Unfortunately, not much of it is picked out in paint, except for the headlights, done in blue. The windshield and windows, also done in blue, except for that one little bit right there. Why couldn't they paint that a little bit? It just kind of, it just breaks up the whole illusion right there. They should have painted that. Why didn't they paint that? Why? 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 Anyway. <laughs> there you got the wheels done in black. Um, I have a little misassembly issue on mine. I got two, uh, two right side pieces there. Instead of a right and a left, that should be on this side. It just, they gave me. Oh, well. QC, it happens. Oh, well. <laughs> he still transforms just fine, but that's, uh, oh, well. It is what it is. But there is the top. There is the bottom. Visible hair syndrome. And, you know, if you want to, you can turn his head around. So you don't really see it. It's totally up to you what you want to do there. But, yeah. <laughs> and he does roll. That's rolling thing should. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here he is with the warrior class Bumblebee. I think he's a little bit smaller than his warrior class self. Here he is with elite class Megs. And here he is with elite Optimus Prime. So, there you go. And that is basically it for the vehicle mode. What you see is what you get. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Hey, it's... Get back here. So, first thing we want to do is we want to come down here and open up these panels. He actually does have a pretty neat little transformation here. You open up these panels right here, and you bring all of this around like so. You flip these sections up to reveal his little toesies. And then we can just close these panels back up, like so. And we move on to the upper body. And you just take these side sections here, untab them, bring them out and down, out and down. Then you open up this panel right here. This section flips in, this section flips in. And that all goes into his back, like so. And then you bring this whole assembly back and then just bring the lower arm down, bring that back, bring this down. And you can angle those shoulders however you want, and have them sitting lower, have them sitting higher. It's always your toy, display it however you wish. And there you go, there you have Bumblebee in his robot mode. And not a bad looking little Bumblemeister, I do. I like him. That's getting close here, so we can take a look at that head sculpt. You can see you got some nice shiny silver paint there on the face, blue for the eyes. Autobot symbol there on the chest. Let's see, a little bit of detail. Black there for the fingers. And your little toesies. And move up the back. You can see just that gray there going on. Oh no. Not too shabby in my opinion, not too shabby. Now articulation wise, the head can rotate, can do a full 360. The shoulders are on the ball joint, they can do a full 360. They can move in and out at that hinge. You also have that ball joint there. You can also 
move the shoulders forward and back if you need to. You also have this hinge here if you need it as well. That can move forward and back as well. You have bicep rotation. You have over 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. Uh, nothing at the wrist, nothing at the waist. Legs can move forward that far, back that far, outward that far. You got thigh rotation. You have under 90 degrees of bend there at the knee and the feet can move up due to transformation. And that is basically it. But, you know, kind of like Prime, he is a nice playable little bumblebee because, you know, he actually has joints. You can move him. You can get him in a pose. You can get him a little action-y pose. You can get some action-y posing going on. So that alone already makes him way better than the Warrior Class version, as far as I'm concerned. I like it. You can actually do something with him. <laughs> so. There you have that. And for comparison, here he is with the Warrior Class Bumblebee. So you can see how they stack up. You can see the Elite Class only slightly shorter than the Warrior Class. Here he is with Elite Megs. And here he is with Elite Prime. So, there you go. So now let's talk about his spark armor. Here we have Ocean Storm, not to be confused with the Quiet Storm. Anyway. As you can see, it is a big old battleship. I do quite like this. I mean, it's pretty cool. That's getting close here, so we can take a look at all the look at all those guns. Look at them. Lots of guns going on here. Lots of pew pewing and bang banging to be had here. Just big cannons here on the side. You get some riveting action as well. Got a big old anchor with a chain. Um, as far as paint, you just get the red along the bottom. That's all the paint there is. That is visible here anyway. You can see you have the, uh, the robot mode hands just kind of sticking out either end, but hey, it is what it is though. But all in all, not a bad little boat. Pew pew, bang bang, hey, why not? Dare I say why not? And just for a quick comparison, here it is with chopper cuts. And here it is with sky turbine. Whoosh. But now let's get down to combination. <laughs> Can't really spin this. Um, oh, there are also ports right here if you want. So if you have some five millimeter weapons, you can actually plug those on there if you want to. Hey, things you can do if you want to do it. But now let's get down to combination. And to do that, we do have to do a little bit of prep work here on Bumblebee. We need to open up these leg panels here and flip out these extended heel spurs here, just to give him a bit more stability. So close that up, like so, and he is ready to go. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to take Ocean Storm, we're gonna turn Ocean Storm upside down, like this, two ports, I mean two posts, two ports, we know how this works, plugs into the back like so. And now he's got a big battleship across his back. Ah, that doesn't, ah, oh, limbo, ah. Anyway. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to just grab this panel here, untab it, and pull this around. And as we do so, boom, the arms come down. Let's bring that down the rest of the way. And then we can bring down so anchor right here, we can unlock the elbow joints. You just clip in. And there you go. There you have Bumblebee combined with Ocean Storm. And there we go. Try to get things a little bit more situated here. There you go. There you have Bumblebee and Ocean Storm. And that's a pretty neat little combo right there, as far as I'm concerned. I like it. You have some big Giant arms now, which look pretty cool. That's getting close here, so we can take a look at that new head sculpt there. You can see some nice yellow, some blue there as well. Pretty cool. We got some silver on the chest here on these panels. And the big old arms. And there are 5mm ports here in the hand, so if you want to plug some weapons onto it, you can. There are also 5mm ports up here on the shoulders. So again, if you want to plug some weapons on there, you totally can. 
Now, as far as articulation in this mode goes, uh, the new arms do have bicep rotation. They also do have an elbow with 90 degrees of bend. Um, they can't really move out because once this is all locked in, it doesn't allow those to swing out. But as far as Bumblebee's arms go, you know, you still maintain a good amount of articulation there. Not so much in and out now because we have those in the way, but everything else is still pretty much there for you. It works as it should. And the head can also rotate there. And if you want, you can take these arms and kind of bring them back like that. Just kind of have them hanging out back here. So it looks like these new robo arms are his actual arms now. And kind of hide them back there. And I think that looks pretty cool. You know, hey, all things you can do if you want to do it. This little bit right here does come off for reasons. I don't know if there's some any specific reason doesn't seem like there's anywhere for this to tab onto or anything i don't know just, i don't know can't hold it can't hold it i don't know i don't know i don't know there's no idea i don't know i don't know it just comes off it comes off you turn it around so it's not hanging down like that you can do that too just to make things look a little bit neater hey totally up to you as always your toy display it however you wish but there you have bumblebee and Ocean Storm. And for comparison, uh, here he is with Prime and with Megs. As you can see, how that all works out there. So, there you go. And for anyone who's been wondering, yes, the armors are swappable. You can totally mix and match if you want to. So, go play. And for one more comparison, here he is with the Warrior Class Bumblebee. Again, so you can see, when he's all combined, he gets a little bit taller there than his warrior class self. So, there you go. So there you have Bumblebee and Ocean Storm. And again, I like this gimmick. This gimmick is fun. I dig this. I love how the gimmick here is working around the figure as opposed to the figure having to work around the gimmick. Like, I love that. I think this just works really well. Megatron is still the weakest of these Elite Class figures, but all in all, though, this is still a really fun gimmick. So, there you go. Now I pick these up at my local Target, but you can also get Cyberverse figures from BigBadToyStore.com. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Cyberverse playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out them games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers of Cyberverse Elite Class Bumblebee and Ocean Storm. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. Oh, hey there, Bumblebee. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't do this. You cannot do this. No, I am the only one allowed to strap things onto myself. Not you. Not you. So go take that off. Take that off, or I will sink your battleship. And I always start with the letter B. Yeah, don't look at me like that. You knew this was going to happen. Hey, if you're not going to use that anymore, can I have it?